Well, we had a great meeting with uh, Verizon last month, um, and I think we're we're going to turn out pretty favorably in the contract. It looks like we're going to get most of the stuff that uh, North TV was looking for. Um, the one thing we'll have to talk about is the the access um, percentage. So currently at 4.5 percent. I know we were looking to go at 5 percent, uh, so we can talk through that, but. Capital expenditures, I think last time we talked, you were looking for around 30K a year, which seems to be in line with what Verizon uh, is able to offer. Uh, their first their first bid will probably be a little lower is what I got, but I, um, they did just did a contract with another town, and the town is, uh, is escaping me right now, but they, they said that they gave them a five-year contract with about thirty thousand dollars a year uh which is right around where you were looking for so i think we'll be pretty close so what they said they do is they'll front load the capital early on so you get you get the capital even though it's not going to go the full five years so it might be it might be three years of 50 rather than five years of 30. yeah correct so they pay out the full capital uh, in 36 months rather than the five-year term. Well, it's important to note, though, that they're not paying it. Correct. The, the exactly. subscribers are subscribers paying, paying it. So it, yep. it, it's more up front for the subscribers, but in the long run, uh, it assures that North TV will have the equipment uh, to deliver a product, yep. if not to Verizon, then online or if they switch over to Comcast, which I'm sure many would if Verizon left town. Yep. So it, it would be more up front for the subscribers, but they're eventually going to pay it, so they're just paying it more up front. Really? If the franchise fee were eliminated, yep. let's face it, Comcast and Verizon, the, the, the monthly invoice for cable is, isn't going to no. come down as a result. And what the fixed fee does, and I'm sure they have realized that when they offer promotions, yeah, they get additional customers, but they're not getting 100% of what they would get with, with a fixed rate. Mm -hmm. And once that promotional period ends, they go running back to Comcast for their promotional uh, yeah. Uh, period and they're just jumping back and forth where with a fixed rate it's something they can plan on and budget for so it yep. does make sense